Number 13 on the countdown, my fantasy playlist of December 20th, 1981, is a rock and roll anthem by Loverboy. Everybody working for the weekend. Uh, Fall of 1981, number 13 on my fantasy playlist from their second album called Get Lucky. Produced by Paul Dean, the lead guitarist of uh, Loverboy and Bruce Fairburn. Fairburn. Fairburn, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. Bruce Fairburn. Uh, before he worked with Loverboy, he worked with Prism. But Prism never got off. They never got real big in America, but they were huge in Canada. But Loverboy, another Canadian band that Bruce Fairburn worked with, took off here in America. Uh, everybody working for the weekend with the number 29, though, here in the States, but with the number 10 in Canada. But don't let that chart position, position fool you. It's definitely one of the most familiar songs out of the 80s. Bruce Fairburn, the guy is just a hard rock and roll producer. After working with Loverboy, around the same time he worked with Loverboy, he worked with Crocus, he worked with Honeymoon Suite, and he became a top-notch international producer when he produced Bon Jovi's magnum selling single, uh, album, Slippery When Wet. You Give Love a Bad Name, Living on a Prayer, Wanted Bad, uh, wanted bad or alive, wanted dead or alive. I'm thinking about going to bed. I guess that's why I'm saying bad. Wanted dead or alive by Bon Jovi. And later on, he helped. He, helped. he was uh, one of the prime engineers in Aerosmith's comeback in 1987. He produced their comeback album, per Pernament Vacation, which featured Dude like, Looks Like a Lady. As a matter of fact, it was Steven Tyler the lead singer of Aerosmith, who said that Bruce Fairburn played an instrumental role in developing the album Permanent Vacation, and he lit a fire under Aerosmith. And boy, he lit a bonfire under this single by Lover Boy, everybody working for the weekend. <laughs> 